Hello, Trent here with Quick Flip Easy Ship, coming at you with a, uh, just a talk, topic video. Uh, there's been some recent drama that has been, I guess, unfolding on uh, YouTube and social media uh, in regards to, uh, you know, resellers, the reseller community, and people, uh, you know, supposedly, you know, falsely beefing up their stats to make themselves look good and try to attract people like you and me, you know, to to want to uh, not only watch their videos and, and get on their other social media accounts. I only do YouTube, by the way, so I don't know about all the Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. I, I don't do any of it. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that as well and give my opinion. So let's go. To survive eBay. So a little bit out of character here on my normal videos. Uh, got my uh, Bush, regular old Bush beer, <laughs> six ninety nine a twelve pack. So uh, I'm enjoying a little bit of uh, my profits. Very cheap though. <laughs> I'm limiting myself to ten dollars a week uh, on spending right now. Anyways, uh, so the first thing, uh, the Rockstar Flipper. Uh, I've quite found him to be an interesting channel now that I've started to pay a little bit more attention to him. Uh, actually, let me back up a little bit. So, I've been selling since 2012. Um, and right when I started selling, uh, I started watching YouTube and starting to get information, gather my own information, free information, okay? Uh, at that time, uh, there was pretty much, I mean, there's three big names that come to mind of channels that were out there and everybody else in my opinion was kind of like either I didn't discover them or they were kind of a few followers of these these particular people and those were uh, the Bonafide Hustler um, he was making videos I saw those uh, uh, Rake and Profit he was just getting started with his videos and he went from flipping bikes to uh, start to sell on eBay and everything, and it was kind of neat because at this I was basically like right in line with uh, as far as time goes. Of you know, we both got started around the same time, and so I was watching his progress because uh, I never did any kind of videos up until recently. Uh, YouTube, I just never did anything with it or anything. So it was interesting to watch him. And then the third one that I remember you know, and I've been watching forever is the crazy New York driver. Uh, so back then, you know, we had a few channels. Uh, there was another, oh, Picking Profits is another one that's been back, uh, you know, that I remember from a long time ago. You know, other than a few handfuls uh, like that, uh, there wasn't very many reseller channels like there is today. I mean, uh, if there were, nobody knew about them. Now it's just like there's so many different reselling channels that have you know several thousand subscribers and get hundreds of views on each you know each video uh, which I hope to do someday <laughs> so in my opinion back then and only up until recently I mean we've we've seen these YouTube channels that I mean honestly have enough views and subscribers to where they could actually do something with it you know other than you know, make a couple bucks per video or whatever. So it appears that now that that is the case, now that reselling has not only become popular, you know, the the uh, the cat is out of the bag, if you will. You know, people know about reselling and they're studying it on YouTube and making videos. And now everybody's an expert in making YouTube videos, myself included. Uh, you know, with that happening, the, with this increased demand for the content and, you know, following uh, uh, some people can be tempted to try to expand that and make a uh, you know a little bit more money uh, other than reselling and hits on YouTube and so that uh, leads into Rockstar Flippers video that he just came out with you know he did a, kind of like a little rant video where he's talking about some things that have happened uh, and he points you to uh, a uh, YouTube channel uh, I believe it's called Jessica Smith on this Jessica Smith uh, YouTube channel it shows some you know suspect activity and it looks like they have some pretty decent proof uh, 
to sum it up, it, it appears that people are so concerned about um, making money uh, off the backs of fans of social media, you know, resellers, um, that they could possibly be, be uh, trying to inflate their uh, eBay, eBay or other platform sales numbers um, to do so. In one of the videos, I saw an example where a it shows what they believe is a shill bid, where someone bid three thousand dollars, or they want they did a buy it now on a couch, an IKEA couch for three thousand dollars, and you know the power of the internet. They did the research. This is like a thousand dollars the most couch, and somebody paid three thousand dollars, and of course the two accounts were two known YouTubers, I guess that I actually do they either are on the same uh, team or group or whatever, or they collaborate uh, frequently is, is what I'm gathering. So it looks very suspect. I mean, $3,000 is the exact amount that it takes in sales to become top rated seller. Uh, and my opinion on that, by the way, is that that's silly that if you, if you have to do any kind of shenanigans to get top rated seller, I mean, just get out of the game. I mean, honestly, if you're that impatient too, I mean, I know that maybe it's an impatient thing, you know, get out of the game. That's ridiculous. But I guess ultimately I believe that if it indeed is true that it was due to temptation to try to uh, attract this audience, that they're going to be able to sell whatever products, you know, custom products, um, uh, subscriptions to whatever exclusive information or ex exclusivity. So that leads into my first point. Um, don't believe everything you see on the internet, okay? Uh, Suzanne Wells, a well-known YouTuber for reselling, uh, made a video on this, and it was, I thought it was a very interesting video, and it, it got my attention, you know. Her example she used was where someone takes a photo of a bunch of packages that, like, here's my daily sales and it's just like a phenomenal amount you know like wow these guys are pushing you know 30 40 sales a day you know and they got them all packaged up and priority mail envelopes and whatever it is and she brought up a good point you know it's like don't believe everything you see because you don't know the circumstances behind that stack of packages they could have been accumulating that over the weekend it could have been the the best weekend that they've ever had uh, they could uh, it could be totally fake probably not but um, you know, we don't know their profit margin. They could have only been making five, six dollars a piece on those items. So, I mean, you do just as good, you know, and you just, it just doesn't look like it. I think that principle applies to these other circumstances where it's like, yeah, let me show you how easy it is to do this and that. And look, I'm making six figures and I'm selling, you know, I'm selling, uh, women's whatever, you know, women's tops from the thrift store and I'm making six figure, figure income, you know, I, I think a reasonable and prudent person can figure out the BS. I guess the problem is whenever people get invested in a, a character or a, a channel or whatever the case may be, they start to believe because they got hooked by that person or that channel, you know, they got hooked and now they're, they're, they're a believer, you know, they're invested, they're emotionally invested in this, this, uh, this person or channel or whatever the case may be. So to sum it up, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Extract the information that is going to benefit you from them and make your own story. Next beer. So I've mentioned Rockstar Flipper and I mentioned uh, Suzanne Wells. The third recent video I saw that was, they got my attention. I think they all kind of relate. Uh, this the third one was from the uh, Golden Finger Picker, and he kind of did a rant where he was talking about uh, people paying basically for information, you know, and, and buying into these, you know, other resellers' uh, programs, you know, whatever the case may be. Now, I have a specific opinion on that. Uh, I think there's two ways that honestly, it's okay, it's justified for you to pay for these you know, services, if that's what you want to call it, or exclusivity to be a part of their club. He brought up a good point, and that's what I want to reiterate, is that in the reselling world, 
there's nothing out there that you can't look up and find out the information for yourself. Whether it be searching the item on whatever platform you're using, eBay, whatever, or finding a video on it, because for whatever it is, there's got to be 10 people out there that have made a video on it. There is no secret information, okay? So my main point is um, don't pay for any kind of content or uh, exclusive membership or uh, to attend some kind of special event unless two reasons. Reason one, you enjoy, you get genuine, heartfelt enjoyment out of the exclusivity and out of being part of that club. You're willing to pay for it and you understand that you're paying for just to be part of the club. If there's an exclusive membership out there and you know you want to be a part of it because you want to see what it's all about and you think you're going to enjoy it or you do enjoy it, you already know and you keep subscribing, you know, nobody's mad at you. I mean, that's fine. Just don't be fooled to believe that you're going to be privy to some kind of super secret information that nobody else has either made a video about or is just out there, you know, it just doesn't exist. You know, everything's figured out, everything. So you're just paying for it, you know, to be a part of that membership. That's all. Reason number two is if you truly value that particular content creator or whatever the case may be, and you want to give back to them and by paying to join their, their membership or buying their t-shirt or buying their merchandise set that they, they're marketing, you want to do that to support them, then by all means, that's, in my opinion, a 100% legitimate reason to do so. Let's be realistic. In, in a lot of cases, they, these people are providing something to you. Yeah, they're providing a product. They're providing a service, you know, or a, uh, you know, exclusive membership to where you go to somewhere where you're kind of like having a, you're kind of having a party, you know. So, I mean, that can be fun. And the items that they, I mean, they're resellers, so they know how to, to make good items, generally speaking. So, you know, try it out if that's what you want to do to support them and, if it's if you enjoy it great if it's garbage then well you learned your lesson you know just like resellers do when they we buy items and we learn our lessons on them all the time <sighs> well that does it for this rant video if that's what you want to call it probably the closest I'll ever do to a rant <sighs> in conclusion you know know what you're paying for uh, and it's not gonna be you know exclusive information if you want to be a part of the club, that's fine. And, uh, you know, don't believe everything you see. Uh, you know, you're not the people you're watching, okay? You're not going to get the same sales figures as them. You know, make your own sales figures. Make your own success stories, you know. Don't try to emulate somebody else. You know, I understand emulating success, but make your own success. And that does it. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Together, let's make some quick flips and easy ships on eBay. Have a good night.